Hey guys, today I'm bringing you a short video regarding the AMX CDC because it's in an event right now. Now, this tank, I quite like it. It's not completely OP, but it's definitely not, not OP either. And the only trick is that you have to make sure that you don't get shot. Because the thing is, it drives really smoothly and it's very nice with the rate of fire and damage it does and everything. But basically anything that shoots you will generally pen you and that can cost you the game. But if you can get behind people or if you can get in their flanks and basically just keep them from shooting you, you can do so incredibly well in this tank. It's pretty hard to ace because, well, like I said, it's a good tank so a lot of people will do good in it. And it's somewhat like a tier 8 Dracula, not as OP as a Dracula by an, in any way to be honest, but it drives similarly. But with this tank it's not that bad that it's somewhat slower, it's a tier higher so pretty much all the tanks are slower. And it's just pretty easy to lay shots into people, pull back and do it again afterwards. But the real question, is it worth it? And that, to be honest, I don't know. The first two stages of the event weren't all that hard to do and in that way it's like, okay, with a little bit of investment in time I can get it. But as we continue, the stages get harder and harder and basically you have to do more and more, play more and more. And that just makes it very hard because you can only skip with gold afterwards and you don't really get a second chance if you decide to skip like this stage and then decide not to skip the next one because then it would be quite useless. And that's the tricky part with this event because you need to decide upfront whether or not it is worth it and whether or not you will actually gold the rest of the stages. Because if you just gold one you're just wasting that gold. But right now it already takes like around well over 100 battles in order to get the Japanese thing done and it's not even the last stage. And that's the real tricky part because that's just for the tank. If you want the attachment, you need for the Japanese stage, you need 20k thingies, which generally means that divided by 10, as on average you might get around 100 thingies per battle, it would take you 200 battles to just get the attachment thing. And that's basically the only thing I want because as you can see, I have the tank. But that's really not worth the investment of time. Or the frustration I get from playing that much with all the teams as they are and everything. And that's really a shame to be honest because like I said the CDC is a lovely tank and I think a lot of people would enjoy driving it. But not for the insane amount of gold that it will cost you in the end if you can't uh, do all the battles. And definitely not for the insane amount of time you'd have to spend if you want to get it for free. And taking into account that it's actually exam time and that a lot of people will have to be studying rather than playing. I don't think this is a very well thought out event and even though the idea of it I like, the execution of it not so much. So again, yes, if it can cost you very little and you can get it pretty cheaply, by all means get it. If you have all the time in the world, have nothing else to do, no exams, no school, no studying, no work, whatever, then by all means invest the time and get a free tank or an attachment. But if you have any of those things, you will not have the time to actually finish this grind. And you will be very frustrated not getting the tank. Because you will have tried so hard and still not gotten it. And that's basically my little view on this event and on the tank. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you make a wise decision. And I'll be seeing you guys the next time again.